Monroe County Fire Rescue recently mounted Stop the Bleed boxes to utility poles in 13 locations throughout the county. The Stop the Bleed boxes allow us to have resources readily available should an unfortunate event happen where there are mass injuries. Each Stop the Bleed box contains 30 individual kits, one pair of gloves, one stretch gauze. This is a rolled gauze that can be used for packing wounds, which we'll discuss later. A tourniquet. And a quick clot bandage. A quick clot dressing is a gauze that's coated in an agent that promotes blood clotting. This can also be packed into the wound. Call 911 or have someone call 911 immediately. Don't assume someone else already has. Once you locate the bleeding, expose the area and determine if the bleeding is life-threatening. Bleeding is considered life-threatening when clothing or bandages are soaked with blood, loss of part or all of an arm or leg, blood that is spurting or flowing continuously or won't stop coming out of a wound, and blood that is pooled on the ground. If you determine that the bleeding is life-threatening, immediately apply direct pressure. For deeper wounds, pack the wound and then apply direct pressure. If the bleeding will not stop and it is on an arm or leg, then apply a tourniquet. If all or part of an arm or leg is missing or it is a large wound, immediately apply a tourniquet. For example, a propeller injury. If available, use gauze or a bulky dressing. If you do not have access to any bandages, then find any clean towel, cloth, or t-shirt. Place the towel directly over the wound. Apply very firm, direct pressure with both hands. Do not lift the bandage off the wound. This will interrupt the clotting process. If the bandage soaks through, apply another dressing or towel over top of it. If the bleeding does not stop with direct pressure or if the wound is extremely deep, use a gauze or quick clot dressing to pack the wound. To pack the wound, start with a corner or edge of the cloth or gauze. Push the cloth into the wound as deep as possible and continue until the wound is full. Then apply direct pressure over top. Place the tourniquet two to three inches above the wound. If the wound is on the lower leg, place the tourniquet just above the knee. Drape the wrap and hook over the limb. Feed the wrap through the mouth of the hook. Pull the wrap to tighten. Wind around the limb for pressure. The tourniquet needs to be extremely tight to stop the bleeding. If it is not tight enough, it can increase blood loss. Anchor the free hook beneath the wrap to secure. Once the tourniquet is secured, if bleeding has not stopped, it may be necessary to apply another tourniquet just above the existing tourniquet.